Hi guys and welcome back to the channel today. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a little bit of a sad video, but I felt that this video is needed just to go through what an incredible guy this person was. Obviously with being a championship channel, I thought it's only appropriate that I dedicate a whole video to championship legend, I mean, he's young enough to be even called a legend, championship icon, Peter Whittingham, who sadly, which has been confirmed today or yesterday, depending when this video is uploaded, he's died at the age of 35. Man, like, if, if you think of a football player at that time, they'd be relishing this time. When you get to the age of 35, especially in his position, you'd be thinking about retirement, and at that time, you'd be starting to raise a family. And ironically enough, that's exactly what Peter Whittingham was doing. Unfortunately for him, his wife, who's currently pregnant, unfortunately is going to have to deal with raising a family on her own, which is going to be really sad for the child growing up, knowing that his dad had passed away within months of the child entering the world. I mean, that's a real hard pill to swallow. Oh my gosh, I'm choking up here. So Peter Whittingham as a player, a, a humble guy, just everything you'd have wanted in a football player but for me he typifies the championship and if you saw my team for decade i did a small snip here where i showed my team for decade here is my team for decade now and as you notice peter whittingham is in there and he definitely deserves it and he would be the absolute definition of loyalty if you were to look at his career he's had a very good career he started out with aston villa at the age of 18 Spent five years there, wasn't gained a load of time. He then had a few loan spells. He had a loan spell at Derby and Burnley. But it was when he joined Cardiff where he uplifted his career and stood up. He joined Cardiff when he was 23 and Cardiff were in and around mid-table in and around that time of the championship as well. You've got to look back at the 2009-10 season where Cardiff narrowly missed out on promotion. He was the top goal scorer with 20 goals. I mean, he's a midfield player. To get 20 goals as a midfield player, that is so rare. But he was a soldier. He carried this Cardiff team. Still remained consistent. 11 goals next year. 12 goals in the next year. 8 goals in the next year. He even scored 3 goals when Cardiff were promoted up to the Premier League. He stayed ultimately consistent. And with him being a midfield player as well, he had to change his position a couple of times. The season after he scored 20 goals, Craig Bellamy joined Cardiff. So... Peter Whittingham had to play more centrally, but wow, he made light work of trying to adapt to the role. He was absolutely sublime. He stayed at Cardiff for 10 years. Unfortunately, Neil Warnock wasn't playing him as much, which is why he moved down to Blackburn to help them get them promoted back into the championship, which he did do. He didn't manage to score, but he was very important in lifting the squad and pushing them back into the championship, which he did do. Unfortunately for him, his contract was terminated by mutual consent when Blackburn were promoted back into the championship. And this happened in the end of 2018, and I would not have expected that less than two years later, I'd be making this video, but it just goes to show life can be really, really cruel. He deserves all the plaudits. I would go to say, if there was a Hall of Fame in the championship, I know there's a Premier League Hall of Fame, but if they were to make one with the championship, Peter Whittingham would have to be there. Most definitely, if you, I previously said, for me, he typifies the championship. And to lose that big of a character at such a young age of 35, knowing he was going to be a father later in the year, I do wish his wife and his future baby the best going forward. Obviously, he was in the PFA Championship Team of the Year in that 2009-10 season. And he got a lot of interest. But as I said, loyalty in Cardiff was in his blood. He wanted to stay at Cardiff for as long as he could. 10 years for Cardiff and following that Cardiff were a little bit of a roller coaster of a team previously in the Premier League but then were languishing in the bottom three in the championship and of course when Neil Warnold came in he changed that but he stuck by them and there's not many players that do that most championship players when they get interest from bigger clubs they tend to jump to that club and they tend to waste their potential and obviously with some championship players, some could have started the Premier League but then dropped down and then just kind of not deliver. But with Peter Whittingham, he knew that was where he wanted to be. He wanted to be in the Championship and he wanted to stay at Cardiff. Completely disregarding the interest that he got and he was a complete professional about it. And I think that describes him well. He's a professional player. 
an extraordinary player. Don't normally see a load of players like him. So yeah, obviously a really sad day for Championship football. Just another sad story with the whole situation we're currently in right now in the world. But following my advice, I would say everyone do try and keep safe, try and keep healthy. Eventually we'll get football back and hopefully for Cardiff fans sake, if they can play their football back, they can play their last nine games in for of Peter Widdicombe and can do him proud, maybe even get into the top six. But definitely all championship clubs are gonna pay him so much respect when football does go back. Yeah, this ends the video. And I'm going to stop before I lose it, but it's really, really sad. You feel like you've lost a part of yourself when these sort of big deaths happen. And for all Championship fans, that is a really big example of that. All Championship fans will miss you, Peter. And to his wife as well, I wish you well as well, especially raising your new child. And with all Championship viewers watching this video, if you liked what you see or see more Championship content, please make sure you do give this video a like. It is tremendously appreciated. Please subscribe if you haven't done or if you're new around here. All of that would really make my day. And please share this video or share this channel to as many people as you like. All of that would really make my day. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are legendary if you saw the end of this video. As always, take care and rest in peace, Peter Whittingham.